So Texas has lifted the mask mandate. Now, um, before I start getting a little bit, uh, starting to sound like, you know, like a, like a wise guy or something like that, let me just make it clear to you, okay? I've lived in New York City from June uh, 15th, 1993, all the way up until June 7th, 2019. Okay, I didn't have a chance to travel or see how the country is like or go to another uh, country. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't have that privilege because I had to go to work. Okay, because I was an immigrant. I, I'm an immigrant. I wasn't born in this country. Okay, I've lived in New York City for 26 years. I've seen how it changed over time. So if you're, if you're still in New York, and you don't like you're happening to see this video and you don't like I, I know where you live. I know how it is out there. OK, I've lived in Queens and I lived in Long Island and I've worked in Manhattan. OK, I know the deal. You don't have to come at me with with your little with your little uh, uh, wisecracks. I mean, you can if you want to. But just just know, like I've lived in, in, in I lived in New York City for 26 years. So you, you don't have to come at me with, with stupid, stupid crap. OK, with that being said, I can understand that some of you out there are upset and that it's really hard for you and I understand that and because I understand that is is a good reason why I left because I'm sick and tired of living there I'm sick and tired of paying 32 percent out of every 22 dollars and 50 cents that I make an hour 32 or 33 percent you do the math because you're from New York City you do the math right you're so advanced and so uh, accepting, right? So you know, you know, you're so modern, right? Among many other reasons as to why I left New York City, I can't take it. I can't. I can't. I, can't. It's, it's. I have to like rent is incredibly nuts. I was grateful to to have a, a good established uh, rent with somebody that I knew by luck. Okay, so I used those years to save my money and leave New York City. Okay, and now I'm here in Texas. My mortgage is 1016. My mortgage is a joke. I own a home here. I can work hum, work and make a humble living. And I don't have to be a freaking neurosurgeon. A neurosurgeon who's like, you know, that, ha that has like 600 or $800,000 in college debt just because I wanted to be a neurosurgeon and impress other people. Anyways, so with that being said, okay, there's no, I don't have to wear my mask here for, you know, for, uh, for I think it starts in, March 7th and that's pretty much it. We can do whatever we want here. If you guys up there, I don't know why you're so upset. Like I've been talking to some people, some friends of mine, like they're like, oh, be careful. You, oh, you guys are gonna get your rates up. I'm like, what are you talking about? You have absolutely no idea of how it is here. I do. I've lived back there and I li I've lived here. It's, go it's almost gonna be by June 9th of 2021, it's gonna be two years that I'm here, two damn years. Okay, I'm still adjusting. Things are still new to me. Okay, I respect this whole place. Okay, this is, and for you Texans that are watching this, this is, you know, all of this, Collin County, Dallas, this is your house. I'm just trying to adjust in it. And I'm incredibly grateful for the people that have accepted me in here, in the workplace, in my neighborhood. People have been nice to me. Total strangers have been nice to me and taught me the ropes and taught me like, just to, uh, you know, people at the workplace have been, you know, hey, watch out before you buy this house. You can get swindled or I just, you know, people were very nice to me and accepting here. Okay. And I get, look, I'm brown. I'm an immigrant, right? Nobody's ever treated me like, like uh, I've been treated in New York since it's insanity. How, how you people think up there? I don't, I don't get it. I mean, listen, if you like staying there, you like paying you know, 34%, 33% for 20, every 20, $23 an hour that you make, you go do that. That's fine. I have no problem with that. You're more than welcome to stay up there and live that kind of way. I, that's fine. In fact, please pay more taxes. Please. Because the more taxes you pay the, and, and the more uh, money you pay for gas, because Texas has a lot of gas, we get to pay less. We get to pay less for, for prime rib. We get to pay less for water. We get to pay less for electricity. We get to pay less for gas. We get to pay less for a lot of things because you guys want to desperately need those resources more than we do because it's here. It's under the ground. Okay. Anyways, so 
that's just just that's just what I'm saying. If you're New, from New York right now and you're upset, oh, you're gonna leave your your mask. We don't have to live like you, and you don't have to live like us. It's really that simple. And if you don't like it there, then leave. How many people do you know that have actually stuck to their guns and done what they said they were gonna do? Okay, I'm not trying to elevate myself, by the way, in any way. Okay, I'm just some small time city punk ass boy. From the, from the city that wanted to leave because I can't take it anymore, okay? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, you know, I'm, I roll with the punches, okay? It's, I'm nobody special or anything. I just, I'm just a normal average person, likes bicycles, likes guitars, likes video games, likes to work out, okay? It's pretty much average person, all right? Now, with that, with that being said, it, um, how, I, I'm sorry, what I was trying to get back to, how many people, I could have stayed in New York up until now and I've been complaining. Because I was complaining a lot before because I couldn't take it anymore. I can't stand living here. It's, it's The commute to my job, which I was great, very grateful for having, was a, incredibly insane. I had to wake up at 1.30 in the morning every day, Monday to Friday. Okay? So I can get so I can get to downtown by like, what, 4.45 a.m.? Okay, now that really helped me. It made me stronger. It made me more disciplined. It straightened me out, right? And but then after a while, you know, I don't. Okay, I I've done what I've had to do here. I've paid all my debts. I've apologized to the people that I was supposed to apologize to. I don't know. I don't owe any anything to anybody here. That's it. I can leave now. I feel I feel complete. I can leave now, for a better and search for a better way of living. And I found it. And when I hear people that are upset because we like to have fun here, well, sorry, we don't have to be complaining like the rest of you up there. I actually did what I said I was gonna do. And I'm damn proud of that because I used to be an effing loser, okay? And I actually stuck to what I did. And nobody helped me. And instead, people, people got in my way. People doubted me. People uh, were trying to bring me down. And in a way, you know, something that was good because it gave me energy. It, it, I fed, I feed from that. I, it's, it's crazy how I feed more from people who doubt me and try to diminish me more than people who actually believe in me. It's weird. If you know how to, how, if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment. Because I don't know why. It's just like, I feel like I have to prove myself sometimes. But anyways, so yeah, the, the Texas mask mandate is, is lifted. So are the other policies like such as uh, social distancing and um, and what and restaurants and everything had, can go up to one hundred percent. But it's been like that anyways. It's been like that anyways. So don't don't, don't I mean it's I guess we just need it on paper. So you know the rest of the coronavirus freakazoids can follow along. So anyways, uh, if you want to make fun of me, you're more than welcome to. If you don't like this video, you're more than welcome to say how dumb I am. It, uh, you you can also call me a horrible person because I left New York City. Because I wanted to pursue a better way of living. Because I wanted to pursue the American dream. Me, just, just some little immigrant punk ass city boy. Right? I'm, I'm a loser. Okay?